Hello and welcome to White Glove Reviews. In this video, we're taking a look at the new 1.1 update for Loop Hero. So first of all, I think that we'll hit continue. And so this is the game that I've been playing for, well, I'll divert the save game for all along. And as you can tell from probably my resources over here, I created a, one or more, I think I did it two or three times. I created the the loop where you can run forever. Basically, you never spawns monsters and you just get, well, anyway, I have a video about it. So let's take a look and see what all got added when it comes to the 1.1 update. So first of all, okay. So first of all, let's look at the cards. So there don't seem to be any new cards but it looks like what you can do is you can save different decks, which is kind of cool looking. So let's see, like, say this is my first deck, and I want to save a second deck, and this deck will be different. And like so. I have too many cards, apparently. No treasury, no temporal beacon, none of that, none of that. So, okay. So that's kind of cool. Let's you save multiple decks, which is neat. So let's go back to Expedition. And this is definitely a new button. So this lets you build a trait deck. And the traits are all those things you get from beating the bosses. So like if I wanted to... So how many traits can I include? Now one thing that you should know, well you may notice is like I don't have all the traits selected. Over, I don't have all the traits unlocked. And the reason I did this was because earlier it would pick from all your pools of traits, like your whole pool of traits, and I didn't want to have to, you know, have the bad traits that weren't really meaningful for me. So I wonder how they're going to handle. Huh. I wonder how they handle the 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 class specific ones. Hmm. I don't know. It's kind of interesting, though. All right, so let's go back here. And so we don't have any new classes yet. Just Necromancer, the Rogue, and the Fighter. So let's um maybe try a game. Let's go with level four. And I want to try and... They, they added three new tiles, and they added new monsters. And so I think what I need is I'm going to need a swamp and a desert and a forest. Swamp, desert, forest. So I'm going to get rid of the cemetery. I'll keep the grove. Uh, actually, I think I was doing something weird with this before. So I'll get rid of the treasury. Get rid of the beacon. We'll keep oblivion. So I don't need a rock. So we'll keep forest and desert and no meadow. And let's get suburbs, because we can see if we can level up relatively quickly. And so, are any of these things promising? Arsenal? Eh. Nah, I'm fine without those. So, let's see. It looks like with the swamp and the desert and the forest, forest, desert, swamp, I think I should be able to do everything. And I'll have vampire mansions, battlefields, and this just for good measures. All right, so let's try this. We'll try it with the rogue and see how it goes. Equip everything. And then, all right. So let's pause this for a second and look and see what we got. All right, so game speed doesn't affect the speed of battles. So what we got here is ah okay so they can well, you can speed up the game to like times four speed well that's kind of cool Let's see what times four speed looks like so the question though i guess is that doesn't seem to speed up battles let me build some stuff before we get totally swamped by this oops so we'll throw out our suburbs and we'll throw out some swamps and these swamps are going to be simply murderous for me. 
I'm pretty sure because I have a ridiculous amount of vampirism. All right, so we place sand dunes. Start placing sand dunes like right here for good measure. And we got an oblivion and then let things run. All right, so let's stay here. So here's a question. Can I select save slot? So I guess I can save a game. Uh, how do I save? There's supposed to be a way to save during... What happened there? Oh, <laughs> I don't think I've ever actually clicked on that eyeball before. All right, so let's see. We got another sand dunes. Put a sand dunes right there. So I'm pretty sure if we put a forest next to a sand dunes, we get something you can't see because it's behind the cards. Let's try right there. All right, so okay. So this is the new tile. One of the new tiles. It's the M A Q U I S. Makis? Makis? So let's see. Enemies deal 2% less damage, no lower than 50%, and enemies attack 2% faster, no higher than 50%. Alright. That's kind of interesting. And so you get this when you put it next to a forest. A forest or thicket next to a sand dunes or desert. So that's how you get that one. All right, I'm still trying to figure out where the option is to save as I'm going through. I don't see it. I so, hold on. Those are just the effects of that. And it's not letting me speed up the combat any. Huh. I don't know, we'll keep it down in desert to see what happens. I am definitely liking the times for speed. All right, so more spiders, spiders, grove, and a forest, a thicket. So with the forest, so we put a forest next to this, desert, and sand dunes, so we get that. So we get another Makis. I'm probably saying that so wrong. And... All right. Huh. Some more spiders and another desert. All right. More sand dunes, uh, another thicket. All right. So, the Macus thing, I don't know. I'm not super crazy about that. But maybe it'd be something, maybe you can do something neat with that one. Another grove. This is going to hurt. Yeah, I take a decent amount of damage when I hit them, doesn't don't I? <laughs> All right, fair enough. All right, so another desert. One, two, three, four, five, six. I should get something off this one. There we go. That's another new tile, a ziggurat. So for the ziggurat, spawns a desert spirit each loop. Each desert spirit has a 33% chance to join a battle anywhere on the road. Appears for every seven deserts. Okay, so we got the ziggurat and we got the Makis. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong Anyway, we have that as an option and Then let's see what else we get more suburbs I feel like whatever I've done with these over here 
is definitely messing with my stuff. All right, so let me finish this fight, and then we'll take a look and see what we got from our level up stuff. Healing for each kill. Yeah. Well, we definitely want the 30% chance for a random resource upon killing an enemy. All right, so more thicket, more desert, even more desert, and we'll get our suburbs on, and we'll continue. So that's two of the tiles, two of the new tiles. The third new tile, I'm not sure exactly. It has we get it by placing swamps, but. I'm not 100% sure exactly how it's implemented. So I'm just going to keep missing these things and they're going to explode on me forever? Alright, more suburbs. Okay. So this is... the new dude? Maybe? Uh, this is the desert spirit, I think. All right. So, so many words. I've forgotten the level of words we get with this. All right. So there's our sand spirit. So sand spirit, not desert spirit. So he does a bunch of stuff. And he has a soul, which may or may not be useful. All right, so let's see what happens. Well, he didn't last very long. But, cool new monster. So, put out some more suburbs, and hmm, maybe I should, maybe I'll get my, um, let's see how many ziggurats I can get. Maybe that'll be interesting. Well, I'm, I'm kind of crowding up my little city up there. Huh. I don't seem to be hitting as well as I should be. I'm guessing I, I... Normally I have a bunch of these thickets out already. So it's just... It's hitting super fast. I guess I probably should also upgrade my gear. Well, I'm thinking about it. All right. Seems to help a little bit. More thickets. Now ah, we spawn the lich. Bleh. Oh well. So we level up again. Old scars. Definitely old scars. And definitely another thicket. All right, so are they just not ever going to give us more swamps? I feel like I feel like the swamps thing should be is coming to be an issue. Still no more swamps. All right, I'll throw out another desert. More suburbs. No witch yet. Eh, all the words. I didn't think about this, but I don't know if I'm necessarily equipped to... Okay, well, I'll be fine. I was going to say, I, I don't think I'm necessarily equipped to fight this guy, but this is all right. All right, nonsense, etc. A bunch of words, blah, blah, blah. So... I'm wondering if, like, this feels like it's messing with the, messing with the, ah, another ziggurat, okay, kind of cool, if it's messing with the chances to, for things to spawn, like for your, um, your, 
cards to spawn. It's like I haven't seen a swamp in a while. And I don't know. Maybe swamps are just moderately rare. I'll load up on spiders. I'll load up on spiders and battlefields and see if we can't get some of these things to show up. So, I want to see the witch. I want to see the witch's hut. All right, I got a swamp. That's a good thing, right? So, we'll place a swamp in this extra crappy area up here. Oh, all right. That's neat. So, when you place your third swamp, you get a witch's hut card. So, let's see what it does. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Grants you health potion each time you pass by. Adds witches to battles on the tiles around it. The witch hut is get, card is given for every three swamps placed. All right, so I'm going to place a witch hut. And we'll place it right there. Place it right there. Place it right there. And see if we can fight us a witch. Uh, fuss. Smoke screen. So that's kind of exciting. So here's a question. I'll place another swamp. All right, we got a witch. Let's check this out. Bunch of words, bunch of words, a bunch more words. There's so much talking in this game. Alright. So, we fight a witch. Heal. Has a soul. Blood donation. Once per battle deals 10% damage to the hero with the fifth attack and heals a random enemy for that amount. Wow. Uh, you will heal. Totem. Once per battle summons a protective totem. Instead of attacking if there's an empty combat space. Alright, so let's see if we get to actually see our totem. Oh! Did y'all notice that? She's an archer. Well, that's kind of neat. I totally missed that. So, she's an archer character. And none of these things are surviving long enough for it to matter. Oh, wow. Yeah, those hits are going to be kind of painful. Alright, so we'll throw out more deserts. I wonder if I can destroy all the swamps and it keeps my count going. Hmm. I'm liking the times four speed a lot. It definitely does speed things up. And helps with you know, just keeping things moving along. Alright. Let's see how many ziggurats we can get. So... Some of these fights are going a little slower than I would expect them to go. But maybe that's just... Also, I wanted to see... I wanted to see that protective totem the witch is supposed to be able to cast. Because that should be one of the new monsters. I would think. So, we'll get our suburbs on. And throw out some more sand dunes. Because why not? Because we're hunting ziggurats. And maybe we can see if we can get some more witches' huts. I like the new mechanic of whenever you place the, whenever you place the the next, the next, uh, the third swamp, you get the card. It actually gives you a card. I mean, like that's that's new. That's kind of an interesting twist on things. And second thoughts. Uh, yeah, let's see what else we can get. 
Awaken Fragment. 50% chance to steal a resource shard from an enemy while countering. I'll roll the dice with getting whole chunks, I think. I definitely want to get a look at the... I want to get a look at the witch's thing. And see what happens with that. Well, apparently I get boss number two. I should have been thinking about this better. I should have been putting stuff around the witch more. Well, that was a mistake on my part. So, the sand spirit showed up again there. Just kind of neat. And these stupid... I definitely need to retool my setup gear-wise or items-wise for the purposes of handling if I'm going to do stuff with swamps. Because I have way too high of vampirism, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I have a, I have 125% vampirism. I got a lot of those chairs. So, yeah, that's one of those things that, you know, you might want to, you might want to adjust. Luckily, it seems like this is not going to be a bad boss fight. Even though I think I was set up for, I think I was set up for one of the, one of the, the overnight, like, leave it running, walk around in circles kind of things. The infinite loops thing. Ah, the same spirit showed up. And we got another swamp. Alright, so if I put a swamp out here, and we'll suburb it up. And we're building up our ziggurats. I kind of like the sand spirits. They seem like neat additions. And we'll just upgrade this stuff. And... Another sand spirit. So I want to see... I want to see the witch's stuff see what she does so we'll put some stuff around the witch and we'll throw out some more suburbs just for good measure I'm not really doing anything optimally with this so I'll destroy some more random junk I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try destroying a swamp because I think I have well, we'll see, we'll see in a second. I think I have five swamps out. So, yeah. Okay, there's another swamp. And as long as, as soon as this stupid dog dies, or I'm sorry, rat wolf dies. All right. So, one, two, we got five swamps. So, I'm going to destroy a swamp, and I'm going to place out a swamp, and I should get a witch card. And I get a witch's hut. All right, that's awesome. So I'm liking that pretty good. That is pretty neat. And I don't know where to put this now. I'll put it right here. See if we can get some witch hut action going on. And sand dunes and suburbs and quite possibly the worst layout ever. All right, so we'll let this run and we'll see if we can see that last guy. Alright, so we got a witch. So... Wait, there we go. Protective totem. Alright, so that's the last one, I think. Protective charm. Ignores damage to all. It, unobstructible. Unobstructive? The battle may end even if the enemy isn't dead. If this enemy... Oh, even if this enemy isn't dead. Okay. Well, that's kind of cool. I wonder, it might be interesting to see if you can get a bunch of witches huts stacked up on top of each other. See if you have multiple witches show up over here. Huh, that's interesting. All right, blissful ignorance. Oh. Hmm. Now, actually, this is a good choice, but I think what I might want to do is, eh. 
I might go with Blissful Ignorance and just blow some stuff up. Clean up the mess the Lich left. Because that troubles me too much. It's just untidy. Get rid of all these Lich Palace. Can I get rid of all of them? And I'm going to destroy all these stupid swamps. Because you definitely don't need the swamps if you want witches' huts. There we go. So, that's interesting. Well, it looks like that's all the new stuff. Because you got a protective totem. So, there's three new monsters, three new tiles. So, the new monsters would be the, the Sand Spirit, the Witch, and the Protective Totem. And the new tiles are the Ziggurat, the Machis, Machis, and the Witch's Hut. And that's kind of cool. And then we have a bunch of different options. So, here's a question. Can I... I'll just run through. And we'll get to the end. So yeah, that's kind of neat though. So if you, yeah, new additions. I mean, like, like they're definitely new additions, and I, I'm looking forward to seeing even more. I mean, like these things seem like they might be interesting, and the the Macus might offer you an interesting build choice. I don't know. Anyway, let me know what you think, and if you've enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe, and I hope you all have an excellent day.